Proverbs, the third chapter, and we're going to talk about we, today's topic. I've been speaking on the uh, the baby stage, but I don't want to speak on that today because God led me here. We're going to talk about accepting the right teaching. Mm. Accepting the right teaching. And it says in Proverbs, the third chapter, it says, My son, do not forget my teaching, mm -hmm. but keep my commands in your heart. But they will prolong your life many years wow. and bring you prosperity. Mm -hmm. So when she was saying she loved her teachers, thank God for her teachers. It, it, it's the things that had, she had, the, the intimacy that the teachers give her. Once we get into intimacy of God and the Holy Spirit, then it's allowing him to teach us. Once we realize who and what is teaching us and what is good and what is bad to learn, then we won't forget what he has taught us. <sighs> Verse 3. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them on your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Yeah. Let's stop there. Most of the time, like, like I was explaining with, with, with my dad, I'm going to go referring back to the first one. Well, like I was explaining about when we used to go out, and he said, you act like you ain't got no home training. Sometimes we do forget yeah. what we have been taught. Yeah. Because the, uh, the spirit of excitement, the spirit of celebration, mm -hmm. the spirit of, of, of confusion, all of these things come among us because we so we start to forget. But he said, once you bind them on your heart, yeah. once it's here, it's no way. It's in the heart. When you love somebody, you never forget them. It doesn't matter if it was a boyfriend or girlfriend. If you love that person, you're going to remember what they have done with you, the teaching of that person. It doesn't matter who it is. Huh. Verse 4. It says, then you will win favor and good name in the sight of God and man. Yeah. Now, she was saying that she sees Miss Rochelle. What's your last name? Mary McKinney. She said, now I can see. I can see it, visualize. And because God has, I have, I'm starting not to forget what he has taught me. So now he's making me great. And I remember you were saying, don't put your calling down. You said, say, I am. I am thee. That is me. And once you start to realize, you walk it. yes, you walk it, and men will see it. He will make your name great above nations. Right. But you have to remember the teacher. You got to remember what is wisdom. Anybody know what wisdom is? My teacher told me wisdom. What is it? <coughs> we learn about this with Black History Month. Okay, wisdom. What is it? <laughs> All he taught us is Wisdom is stored up knowledge. Yeah, store up. So once you have knowledge stored up, it, it, that's just like when you, when you don't have a place or you got too much materials for your place and you put them into a storage. storage. You put it into storage. You ain't going to forget about it. You, 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 I bet you won't, especially if you're paying the bill on that storage. You ain't going to never forget about it. So the pay, the price to pay God, Christ has already paid it. So he's already telling us that the price has already been paid for the knowledge that I'm giving you. So why have you forget about me? Why are you forgetting the things that is, uh, that is uh, 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 what, what I'm going to say, that is important? Why would you forget what's important now? Why would you forget what will make you great? These things will make you great. Great. If you want to be great, you want to go, and like she said, you have to not go against the process. It's a process to everything. When you have a seed, the seed has to be watered. First, it has to go into the ground. Then after it goes to the ground, somebody got to water it. Once it's been watered, then it has to have sunlight. Once the sunlight comes, then it's going to sprout. Once the sprout comes, then it's going to start to build a trunk. Say it's an orange seed. Then after the trunk comes, it's still going to be five or ten years before them oranges hit that tree. So it's a process that you have to go to in order to get to God. All right? Right. And the process that, just like I was explaining, when I was in the world, I used to help all the young men around me. I, I'm going to be honest, even if it was just giving them a piece of dope, go get you some money. They appreciate it because that's what they act. That's what they do. But when, it, when I was, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, God, you was telling me to do that for now. That was the process of me getting here, me going to those drug houses. <sighs> Even when I was in uh, in the world selling drugs, doing this, smoking, doing all these things, me and my wife still read and prayed. Yep. Three 
three times a day. She'll tell you. Three times a day, I'll be going to go sell some weed. Man, we got to pray before we go do this. We got to pray before we go do that. And that's just, I, it's the process that he was bringing me to. He said, I never left you. You always acknowledge me, but now you got to detach yourself from the things that is not of my teaching. All right. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where, where, where was I at? Uh, it says, uh, five. 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 okay. Then it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yeah. Lean not to your own understanding. Verse 6, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Uh -huh. In order to have trust in somebody, you got to have a relationship with them. you got to build a bondage. you got to build something. It's just like a house. You can't build a house without a foundation. So the foundation has to be built before you start building the windows and the walls of the house. So in order to... <clears throat> Trust in God. Mm -hmm. You have to spend time with it. Mm -hmm. Right. As you building that house, you're spending time building that foundation. Yep. You knowing right. that the, the pipeline from the water goes here. Right. Electricity goes here. Right. So with that time being spent, that builds a relation. A relation is something that you put into. You have to put something into it to get something out of it. In order to receive something, you got to give something. That's why he said, give, you, give me your all. Then I will make you great. Amen. Then I will make you great. Right. It goes on. Then it's verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Right. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Yeah. Somebody look up that word, shun. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Anything that is not of God's teaching, depart, to depart. Mm. I, I still want that definition, shun. When, 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 when you have, say you're going to school for a certain degree, and you know specifically what you're going to school for. Right. You're not going to take up classes that is not of that degree. So why do we do that when we jump into the spirit? We jump into the spirit and we still take up stuff, lessons and teachings that is not of the Holy Spirit. That's just like when you go to college. When you are in college, why would you take up classes that don't even have meaning before and it's not going to help you get to where you need to be in your degree? What's the point? Mm. Did, did anybody find that definition? Uh, persist, to persistently avoid, ignore, or reject. <laughs> oh! To avoid it. That's, we gotta Persistently. Say it again. Persistently. Say it again. Persistently. Exactly. Persistently avoid it. And the way you avoid something, you turn away from it. You don't even pay attention to it. You don't even acknowledge that it's there. You don't even take it in. Right. Come on now. You don't even, that's what it means to avoid it. So when you avoiding something, that's just like when you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, oh, so you trying to avoid my calls? Uh, yeah. You're ignoring me now? Yeah. So now you don't want to talk? Sin. That's sin. basically what it seems to the sin. I don't want to talk to you. Don't want to know nothing about you. Don't want to hear about it. I just want to know. I posted this on Facebook. If it ain't about God, right. I don't want to hear it. Right. I don't want That's what he's saying right here. If it ain't about my teaching, he said, do not. He didn't say, you, uh, uh, he didn't give you free will when you become under, you, under the spirit. No. People say, oh, yeah, yeah, once you're on the spirit, you get... No, he said, do not. He didn't say, you, you got a choice not to forgive my commands. It's your decision not to forgive, but I'm going to still save you. I'm gonna still, he didn't say that. Right. It's a command. He said, do not. He said, say, you can do not. He right. said, do not. Do not forgive my teaching. Mm -hmm. The teachings of God is this. This is the teachings. This is what make you great. This is... You want to run a business? Look in the Bible. Proverbs will tell you how to run it. You want to you get a relationship with a woman or a man? Look at Proverbs. It'll tell you how to do it because it'll tell you how to become great. And everybody want to be with somebody that's somebody. Everybody want to be a part of something that is really something. something. That is it. That's all it is. But we, we look at the evil and think it's something when it really don't exist. That's all in your mind. Everything is a mental thing. But when we recognize what this baby said, mm -hmm. love yeah. the teaching that God is giving you. That's all she was saying. She said, I love that my teachers teach me. I love it. She said, I love school. I 
do too. That's why I'll be telling my wife. She be like, uh, <clears throat> what you doing? I'm in here reading. I'm here doing it. I'm researching all the time to get deeper in this because this is what I love. I don't want I don't want God to to to, to uh, set me down from me not avoiding evil. When you do not avoid these things, it comes to take a hold of you. I believe it's in James, the fourth chapter. Let's go there. I believe it's in James, if I'm not mistaken. I get I gave uh, Sister Rochelle your Bible since so she's dealing with the baby right now. James, what? Four chapters. Let me find it. Hold up. Let me make sure. No, no, no. I take that back. The first chapter. The first chapter. James, the first chapter, the 13th verse through the 16th. If you haven't, say amen. If you don't, say wait a minute. Wait a minute. James, first chapter. But it talk. this is Deep. I'm glad this came about, and I, I, I thank God for how He's really utilizing me. Because it's, in, in order to get closer to Him, you got to receive revelation. That's how uh, anybody that gets up in front gives the word. They're receiving. You got to uh, learn to be open to Him, not to the world. It said you must avoid the world. That's what right. this world is evil. Avoid the world. Come closer to Him and acknowledge Him, and do not forget what He's teaching you, because the world is after you. The first chapter, 13 verse. But when you do that, it starts to, to make sense. All right, everybody have it? Let's do this. It says, when tempted, no one should say God is tempting me. But God cannot be tempted by evil. Let's stop there. Let's stop there. How many of us go through our three blood? Uh, I think God tempted me to do that. Right. He was he was testing me. It, it was God. No, that's why he said avoid evil, because it's not a part of it. Why would he uh be tempting you with evil if that's not him? Right. That's not him. If you are being tempted, it's because basically because you're walking forward. You're you with him. Because like I said, when you avoid the world, that's when the world comes after you. Sorry. Oh, Lord. Uh, it says uh, God cannot be tempted by evil. And what, what it's saying right there is when you are of the spirit, you are of God. So God will not tempt you with evil because he's not a part of evil. Uh -huh. Then it says, nor does he tempt anyone. Mm. Mm. Anyone. Mm. Right. Anyone. So when you become of the spirit and you think that's God testing your faith, that ain't God. That's Satan. Because yeah. wow. he wants you back. He said, you've been back here with me this whole time. This is Satan talking. You've been back here with me this I'm going to say on myself. You ain't You've been in the world with me, Jesse, the whole time. Mm -hmm. Now you want to do this. And then so so now you with him, I'm coming to get you. I'm that's how it is. He said, I want you. I want, that's why he said, don't, don't even recognize evil. Don't give it acknowledgement. Don't play with it. Bring it up. Bring it up. Don't play with it. Because God is really doing some new things. Let's let's let's, uh, let's let's jump to verse 16. I like this one. It says, "Do not be deceived, my dear brothers. Do not be deceived, because Satan is tricky. He's tricky. He, like they say, people will say that God is tempting you when it's not God. It's Satan." He wants you back. I'm going to keep continuing to say that because when you are prospering and going forward, everybody is going to attack you. That is, even the ones of the realm that, that say they of the realm, they're going to attack you. And they're going to try to make sure you go back to where you were at. Everybody that has a past, most of the people that is of the world will judge you of your past and won't judge you of your forefront. Right. It's been happening to me this whole time. Yeah. Then 17, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heaven, of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Uh -huh. So he ain't going to change when it comes to you. It, it, it's, it's, he's the same for everybody. Just like I'm giving the word, Miss Rochelle can give it, Mama, Portia, uh, uh, Minister, Evangelist, my wife. It's all available to you. Everything that... Anybody has up front giving this word, you got the availability to get it to. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, no. It, we talked about gifts this morning. You're calling. Don't let nobody tell you you are not called in what God has told you you are called for. Mm -hmm. Right? Because can't no man.